این پیوان به نام گوسفند در کتاب مقدس خیلی حالت ویژه‌ای داره. It seems to be in God's favor he wants sheep to be one of those offerings to be sacrificed to him. از دیدگاه خداوند خداوند می‌خواد که گوسفند به عنوان یک قربانی برایش اجرا بشه. The first offering uh, that's pleasing in God's eyes was Abel's first born lamb. و می‌دونیم که اولین قربانی که انجام شد هم یک میش بود که در واقع برای خداوند قربانی شد. Both Old Testament and New Testament use sheep to describe God's people. و می‌دونیم هم در عهد قدیم هم عهد جدید خداوند میاد از یک حیوان خاصی به نام میش یا گوسفند استفاده می‌کنه و که می‌خواد مردم خودش رو توصیف کنه. I'd like to read uh, from two uh, uh, from uh, two verses from the scripture. Uh, one is from uh, Psalm 95, 7. And the second is from Psalm 95, 7. It says, The Lord is our God, and we are his people, the sheep he takes care of in his own pasture. Listen, listen to God's voice today. زیرا که او خدای ماست و ما قوم قوم مرتب و گله دست او می باشیم امروز کاش امروز ای کاش آواز او را می شنید so we see it here the, the scripture describing God's people as sheep in his pasture می بینید در, در این آیات خداوند مردم خودش رو همچون حیوانی به نتکنان گوزفندان و مرتای خودش اینجا نام میبره In the New Testament you mean 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 25 وقت جدید در اول پتروس باب 2 25 اول پتروس باب 2 25 با هم نگاه میکنیم It says you had wandered away like sheep از آن رو که مانند گوزفندان گم شده بودید so, you know, God's people being described as sheep. Nowadays, people would like, very much like to think they are independent and capable of controlling their own lives. But the Bible keeps telling us that we are very much like a sheep instead of lion or wolves or eagles. ولی که تو مقدس به ما مشخص می‌کنه که ما برخلاف اون چیزی که تصور می‌کنیم نه مثل شیر هستیم نه مثل مثل گورخا هستیم و و خیلی متفاوت هستیم اون چیزی که تصور می‌کنیم. If you think you are a lion you act differently outside there. اگه شما فکر کنید که یه شیر هستید رویه و رفتارتون خیلی متفاوت خواهد. If you are a sheep, you would, uh, you should be aware of your dangers of there. <laughs> so in John chapter 10, Jesus uses a parable to tell us how many dangers the sheep are in. And he tells us that what we need is a good shepherd, which who he is. در باب ده یوحنا خداوند عیسی مسیح خیلی قشنگ مشخص میکنه که ماها به عنوان گوسفندان ما رو مشخص میکنه و به ما نشون میده که چقدر باید مواظب باشیم از دنیای اطرافمون که چقدر در خطرات هستیم. So let's look at uh, the scripture and see what the dangers the sheep are in. بذارید با کلام مقدس نگاه کنیم ببینیم چه خطراتی میتونه بر یک گوسفند قرار بگیره. Represented here in figure speech are the thieves, the, rob, uh, the robbers, and wolves. We see that in the Old Testament, there are always the thieves and the robbers who are there. They are the ones who are in charge of the world. They represent the devil and his world. And in fact, they represent the thieves and the robbers who are in charge of the world. They represent the devil and his world. شیطان یا دنیا. It is the worldly view which counters the teaching of the Bible. ولی می‌بینیم که این در واقع دیدگاه دنیایی است که در واقع مخالف هست با در واقع آموزش کتاب مقدس. It is the false teachings and the teachings of the false prophets. اینها همون آموزش‌های 
های اشتباه هست و آموزش های پیامبران دروغی در واقع هم نگاه دنیایی هست such as there is nothing left after death یا مثلا گفته میشه که در در آموزش دنیایی که بعد از مرگ هیچی نه هیچی نیست the world in view says the best way of life is to satisfy yourself مثلا در دیدگاه دنیایی اینه که بهترین زندگی اینه که فقط خودت رو راضی کنی and satisfy all your desires فقط تمام اون خواسته های خودت رو سیراب کنی just for two examples حالا دو تا عنوان دو تا مثال and the false teachings و این آموزش های غلط such as there are gods other than Yahweh و میگن که مثلا خدایان دیگه هست به غیر از یهوه I think there are salvations outside of Jesus Christ یا مثلا هم یعنی در واقع نجات خارج از این که از ایسای مسیح باشه even there are groups of people claiming to be Christians but their teachings are, are unbiblical حتی هستن مسیحیانی که مسیحی نامیده میشن اما آموزش های اونها غیر کتاب مقدس نیست و آموزش های اونها در مورد خدا یا عیسی مسیح یا رو مقدس بسیار اشتباه است I'm not gonna name them, but you will find out when you go to the world, you will hear their teachings. Another danger that sheep are in is that uh, they are facing the false prophets. These false prophets they claim, they claim to have special power and their teachings are not according to the Bible. So Jesus called them thieves, robbers, and wolves. Because they take people away from Jesus Christ. They want people to go into the, the eternal death. They want to destroy people's life. That's why Jesus said the purpose of these people are to, are, are to destroy, are to steal and to kill and destroy. و برای هم ایسای مسیح میگه که این نوع پیامبران دروغین که دوزد و راهزن و گرد هستن کارشون فقط همینه که بیان به دوزن و بکشن و حلاق کنن So, Jesus saying here like his people are sheep and they are facing many dangers ولا ایسای مسیح پس به همین علت میاد مردم خودشو و مردم رو به شباهت دوستفند ها میشون میده که نشون بده که چقدر اونها در خطر هستن And he's saying what sheep needs. Ramon just can you get cheap a lot yet to spend cheeses in yours. It's a good shepherd. Ramon in it yet shabon in it. Ah, we don't think we're sheep. Mom, think them for you who's fine has to. Many times we probably think we are lions, we're eagles, we're horses, so we don't need a shepherd. Mom, do you think you can wash she has him? Mom, 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 has him. ما مثلا از پس به احتیاج به شبان نداریم در پس از این مورد اینجور ولی این نوع نظریه در واقع ما رو در خطر جدیتری قرار میده Jesus tell us we need him ولی ایسای مسیح به ما نشون میده که ما به اون نیاز داریم A good shepherd به عنوان یک شبانی نیم And he said he is the good shepherd و میگه او خودش ایسای مسیح که من شبان نیم هستم And he said he has the good purpose for the sheep و او میگه ایسای مسیح که من یک هدف نیکو عنوان شبان نیکو دارم so, so in John chapter 10 verse 10 when, uh, when he's uh, saying that the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy وقتی که در میبینیم در روحنا با به ده های ده گفته میشه که مسیح خداوند میگه که دوز نمیاد مگر این که بدوزه یا بکشه یا حلاق کنه in contrast he said I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. 
زندگی آورد و اون رو بیشتر به دست بیارن. We see Jesus have come have a good purpose for us. پس می‌بینید عیسی مسیح برای یک هدف نیکو برای ما اومده. To have life. تا ما زندگی رو به دست بیاریم. Amen. What does it mean have life? و چه معنی داره این زندگی رو به دست آوردن؟ Is it same as having a wife? مثلا به هم شباهت اینه که مثلا من یه زن داشته باشم یا یه خونه داشته باشم یا یه عصد داشته باشم یا یه شغل داشته باشم یا یه که من مانکون داشته باشم و چه معنی داره پس زندگی داشتن مثلا من توی اینگلیش شنیدم که میگم برو و زندگی داشته باش چی معنی داره برو زندگی داشته باش مثلا این به این معنی است که ما الان باید کانادا الان زندگی داریم If we were in our, back in our home country, we don't have a life و اگر تو خونه خون بر مملکتای خودم بودیم زندگی نداشتیم Obviously not و به طور مشخص نه Because Jesus said ولی که ایسای مسیح گفت He said in Luke chapter 9 verse 25 در لغا باب نو آیه 25 ایسای مسیح این طور میگه He said what will you gain If you if you own the whole world but destroy yourself or waste your life. زیرا انسان چه فایده هست که تمامی جهان رو ببرد و جان خود را برباد دهد یا با آن زیان رساند. So Jesus say if you have everything in the world that still doesn't equal to having a life. بس عیسی مسیح از خیلی ساده داره اینجا اینو میگه میگه اگر شما تو جهان همه چی جهان رو داشته باشی اما اگر زندگی نداشته باشید این کاری چی ندید ممکن هم همه همه دنیا رو داشته باشید اما زندگی تو رو عدست بدید پس آیا هنوز زندگی رو دارید؟ پس اگر زندگی دارید شما زندگی ایسای مسیح رو دارید و این رو خواهید دارید We'll see when when they are singing, you see the joy, the love, the peace in their life. و برای همین وقتی که میخونید، پرستش میکنید، با شادی، با قدرت اون رو میپرستید. And this love and peace and joy will be in you. و این این شادی و این محبت در داخل وجود شماست. The Bible says nobody, no power, no situation can take away this from you. و این اش و این محبت رو هیچ چیزی تو این دنیا نمیتونه از ما بره بالا. آمین. Is it a poor living, a poor living situation will take away our joy? آیا یک زندگی فقیرانه میتونه شادی ما از ما بدوزه؟ No. نه. Is a disease will take take away our peace? آیا مریضی ها میتونه این شادی ما رو بدوزه؟ نه نه because we have Jesus Christ inside of us برای که ایسای مسیح رو در وجود رو داریم His power is with us خدرت او با ماست He will carry us through this ما را تنیم and reach a victory و ما رو به پیروزی میرسونه and with Jesus you will have the life to its fullness و با ایسای مسیح شما زندگی پیروزمنده رو به سمت کمال خواهیم The life is not what the world sees. The life is inside Jesus Christ. زندگی او نیست در این که در دنیا ما می‌بینیم، بلکه اون زندگی است که در ایسای مسیح است. By being with Him, we have more and more and more. Christ, Jesus Christ, saying here to the fullness. وقتی که در او هستیم، بیشتر و بیشتر و بیشتر به اون کاملیت و پری خواهیم رسید. So with Jesus, with this good shepherd, we have life. An abundant life. As a good shepherd, he also loves the sheep, and he is willing to die for them. So in John chapter 10 verse 11 says, "I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd gives up his life." Also in there, he compares a good shepherd with the hired workers. And just He said the good shepherd is willing to risk his own life to save the sheep. ایسای مسیح میگه که یک شبانی نیکو حاضره که جان خودش رو برای 
گوسفندان خودش فدا کنه وقتی یک گرگ رو می‌بینه داره حمله می‌کنه. So Jesus said he's a good shepherd. می‌می‌سایم مسیح که پس اون یکی شبانه نیست. He's willing to give his life for the sheep. اون آماده است که زندگی خودش رو حلال کنه برای گوسفندان. We probably see a lot of a shepherd. We have probably know a lot a lot about shepherds but we have never seen the shepherd sacrifice his life or her life for sheep. ما خیلی میتونیم صحبت از شبانان بکنیم اما چه شبانی هست که حاضر هست تمامی زندگی رو فدا بکنه برای اون گوسفندش Jesus has raised the level of shepherd to a good shepherd و عیسی مسیح میاد سطح شبانی رو به یه شبانی نیکو میبره The good shepherd gives his life for sheep میگه شبان نه فقط شبان بلکه شبان نیکو ها آماده است که جان خود رو برای گوسفند خودش فدا کنه But a hired worker does things for wage. اما اونی که مزدور هست فقط برای گرفتن پول حرکت میکنه. He or she works for a day on one day's wage. و اون اون کار میکنه فقط برای یک روز پولی که یک پولی به دست میاد. Work for a week, get a work's salary. اون پس اونایی که مزدور هستن کار میکنن فقط برای پول. Work for a month, get a month pay. که بتونن ماه به ماه فقط پول بگیرن. But this worker won't sacrifice life for sheep. و این مزدورها هیچ و زندگی خودشون را فدای گوسفندانشون نخواهند کرد. In Romans chapter 5 verse 6 to 8. در رومیان باب 5 Romans chapter 5 verse 6 to 8. آیات 6 تا 8. When Paul is describing when Christ died for us. He said he Christ died for us at a time when we were helpless and sinful. No one is really willing to die for an honest person, though someone might be willing to die for a truly good person. But God showed how much he loved us by having Christ die for us, even though we were sinful. <laughs> یا پولوس داره چقدر زیبا نشون میده که یعنی چی مرگ ایسای مسیح برای ما و آیات اینطور میگه میگه زیرا هنگامی که ما هنوز ضعیف بودیم در زمان معین مسیح برای ما بیدینان و فاتیان زیرا بعید است که برای شخص عادل کسی بمیرد هرچند در راه مرد نیکو ممکن است کسی نیست جرعت کند که بمیرد لیکن خدا محبت خود را در ما ثابت می کند از اینکه هنگامی که ما هنوز گناهکار بودیم مسیح در راه ما جان زد. آمین. آمین. فارسی زبان طولانی تری هست. So this is what exactly the Christ has done. He died on the cross for us. In Jesus Christ, I must say, I'm not joking. Who for you is my Lord and Savior, John? Who to die for you in this world? Who for you is my Lord and Savior? Probably, very likely, will be our parents. Shaya, Shaya, that man's in our world, the dad of our children. I think the parents will die for kids. من فکر می‌کنم بعضی پدر مادرها برای فرزندانشون بمیرن. When the kids are in danger, the parents wouldn't even think about whether this kid, this kid is good or bad. They're just going to save. وقتی که بچه ها در خطر هستن پدر مادر ها اصلا فکر این نمی‌کنه چه اتفاقی داره میفته و این بچهشون بده یا خوبه. فقط میرن و اون بچه رو میخوان نجات بدن. They, they will save you just because you are their children. و این پدر مادرها شما رو به عنوان فرزندان نجا میدن چون فقط فرزندانشون هست. Why would a shepherd die for sheep? اما چرا یک شبا باید برای گوسفندان شب حلال بشه؟ There must be a very special relationship between the shepherd and sheep. و تنها میتونه یه علت باشه و اون یک رابطه بسیار ویژه بین اون شبان و اون گوسفند. There's a very special relationship between us and God. یک رابطه به طور خاص و ویژه بین ما و خدا هست. That's why he's willing to give his life for our life. برای همین هست که او خدا حاضر شد که جان خودش رو برای ما فدا کنه. So in verse 14 of chapter 10, Jesus said, I'm the good shepherd. 
I know my sheep and they know me. In verse 15 it says, Just as the Father knows me, I know the Father. I and I give up my life for my sheep. خداوند هستیم بگیر من شبان نیکو هستم و دوستاندان و خواستان خودم را میشناسم و خواستان من نیز من را میشناسم چنان که پدر من را میشناسد و من پدر را میشناسم و جان خود را در راه گوزفندان میدم There's a key word here, no یک کلمه که دیدی اینجا هست به نام نه This is not in all و این is not Not in all این in all نیست It's K N O W. But K N O W is Is this here? I know my sheep and they know me. Amen. How do we interpret this no? So Jesus continued to explain what does it mean by this no, this four letter no. و عیسی مسیح ادامه میده و میخواد این کلمه رو باز کنه که یعنی چی من گوسفندان خودم رو میشناسم و اونها منو میشناسن He says just as the father knows me I know the father و میگه که بعدش در آیه بعدی میگه همونطوری که پدر منو میشناسه من the, پدر رو میشناسم In the Bible this knowing knowing each other is not as simple as having like your name card or know your name میگه در کتاب مقدس این کلمه این نو که اینجا اومده فقط به فکر به سادگی این نیست که من فقط یه اسمی داشته باشم روی کارت جایی ماورای این معنی داره It's a very deep relationship. این نشون دهنده این نو که اینجا هست این دانستانی که اینجا این شراخ دیگه هست یک از معنی امیخ تری داره So Jesus said just like the father knows me I know the father That's kind of relationship I have with my sheep. Isaiah Masih says that Ham told me that he knows me, and I know him. This is a relationship between me and my husband. Amen. So in the Bible, knowing is a very deep relationship. But in the Bible, knowing or understanding is a very deep relationship. So is Jesus saying here, just as I know my sheep. And they also know me. Amen. He is saying there, there can be a very, very deep relationship between us and Christ. This relationship is there even though we don't feel it. But we can feel it when we experience more of God. Amen. So we can ask ourselves, do we know Him? Do we have a deep relationship with Christ? You can. I can. We can. And Jesus is the good shepherd. Because he protect, he protects his sheep. He's protecting the sheep from being taken away. Still in chapter 10 of John, in the later part of the passage we haven't read, in from verse 27 to 30, Jesus was describing the sheep, his relationship with the sheep, and how much he would would protect the sheep. So let me read these verses to you. My sheep know my voice, and I know them. They follow me. And I gave them eternal life, so that they will never be lost. No one can snatch them out of my hand. My Father gave them to me, and He is greater than all others. No one can snatch them from His hands, and I am one with the Father. 
جامعه نهایت یوحنا باب 10 آیه 27 تا 30 خداوند مسیح اینطور میگه که گوسفندان من صدای مرا میشنوند و من آنها را میشناسم و مرا مطابقت میکنند و من به آنها زندگی جاودانه میدهم و تا به ابد هلاک نخواهند شد و هیچ کس آنها را از دست من نخواهد پدری که آنها را به من بخشید از همه بزرگتر است و هیچ شخصی نمیتواند از دست پدر من آنها را بگیرد من و پدر یک است اینجا عیسی ای مسیح یک بعد ابدی رو به ما میده یک گارانتی رو اینجا فقط یک تذبیه نیست که با دهان او داده شده باشه It's a promise by his power. اون یک تذبیه نیست با قدرتش He said no one can snatch his sheep from his hand میگه که مسیح میگه که هیچ کسی نمیتونه دوستوندان او رو از دست اون برو باید Once we are his sheep, no, he, no one can take us away from him. But he said, "I will be with you always." And he said, "His father gave that, gave them to him." He is saying that snatching a sheep from him is the same as snatching a sheep from the father. گرفتن و دوزیدن یک گوسفند از من مثل دوزیدن یک گوسفند از پدر است. He said I am one with the Father. من و پدر یک است. You are against him, you are against you are against the Father. اگر اگر بر علیه مسیح هستی بر علیه پدر هستی. You are fighting him, you are fighting the Father. اگر بر علیه کی می‌جنگی بر علیه پدر هم می‌جنگی. You are under his protection, you are under the Father's protection. Because he is God. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the King of Kings. Well, having a good shepherd means good protection and good direction and good destinations. یک حمایت واقعی داره یک هدایت واقعی داره و at the end direction and good خوب خواهد داشت however a sheep's life can still go wrong in many ways when a sheep becomes not careful watchful or sometimes becomes wayward that means stubborn اون میتونه زندگی گوسفند به خطر بیفته وقتی که درست مراقبت نکنه مواظب نباشه و درست حواسش پرت جمع نباشه so when we go away from like a, like a sheep go astray away from the shepherd وقتی که ما به عنوان گوسفند منحرف بشیم و در مطابقت شبانمون نباشیم we suffer the hurts we suffer the fears sometimes we, we lose the hope because sometimes we don't see the shepherd we are attracted distracted by the, by the green pasture by the satisfaction of this world be lured away from, from the good shepherd. We expose ourselves to, from, to, the, to the dangers. We're under, we will be in the danger. We know Jesus Christ, our good shepherd, will not forget us. ما اینو میدونیم که عیسی مسیح به عنوان شبان یک هیچ وقت ما رو فراموش نخواهد کرد. ما رو اگر هم شده باشیم ما رو پیدا خواهد که ما, ما رو به سمت خودش بر برگشت خواهد کرد. With this we can, you know, we can trust him we can rely on him but we have to be careful too. ما با این بعدی خدا میتونیم به اون اعتماد کنیم و به اون اعتماد داشته باشیم و به اون برگردیم. So what are your responses after knowing that Jesus is the good shepherd? حالا پاسخ شما چیست؟ اگر وقتی اینا رو میدونی که او عیسی مسیح شبانه‌ای است. 
I think we should be aware of the things. The robbers, the wolves of the world that can steal your life, that can kill, that can destroy your life. ما حالا باید خیلی آگاه باشیم نسبت به دوزها به راهزنا و برگاه که میتونه زندگی ما رو برو باید و از بین ببرد ما حالا باید یاد بگیریم حتی صدای او رو بشتریم صدای ایسای مسیح His voice, not the voice of the world اون صدای مسیح صدای دنیا نیست We should learn to deepen our relationship with him not just meeting him on a Sunday or Or, but we need to spend time with him. Amen. We, we should spend time with him in prayers, in Bible reading. We should spend time with him together with other bodies of Christ. Amen. We also, we also should learn to rely on him. Trusting that he's always in control. No fear. Amen. We should learn to follow his teaching and his footsteps. Not to go astray away from him and endanger ourselves. So may God have mercy and uh, his grace be upon us. Amen. And uh, may his favor be upon you. Amen. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, we thank you. You sent Jesus Christ for us. You give us this good shepherd. We know when Jesus Christ said he's, good, he's a good shepherd, he's saying he's the good shepherd. That reminds us Uh, reminds us of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. Amen. So Father, we worship you. I pray for everybody here, for my brothers and sisters here. We, may we find peace and joy and love in you. Because you are the good shepherd. In Jesus Christ's name. We pray. Amen. 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 Amen.